official Where's terminology. Yep. So we're going to turn you over to our lovely tour guide this morning, Marie, and she's going to give us a little bit of a, a quick, how do we do this? And I'm not going to try not to fall off while we do, do so. <laughs> All right, uh, so how this deployment works and how the rest of the deployment works, um, typically when you ride down, you have this pulley hooked onto the zip line, uh, and you're more in a seated position. You're able to control how you steer, how you slow down, everything like that. Uh, with this zip line, it is different. What we give you, instead of this little zip, little pulley right here, you get upgraded to a big pulley like this. Ooh, the um, super everything, uh, yeah, super pulley. Uh, everything that you need is already attached to the back of these guys. Um, a bunch of straps, a bunch of buckles, all that stuff. But that goes on the zip line and actually allows you to hang. So your arms are outstretched in front of you and your feet are hooked up behind you. You're going to be laying on your stomach the entire time. And because you're going to be laying on your stomach the entire time, you won't be able to reach the zip line, anything like that. So there's no need for slowing down. You won't need to turn yourself because you'll be going straight the whole time. Uh, but because of that, what we have on the end of this zip line is kind of a self-braking mechanism. Uh, there's a big rubber block that's attached to the zip line, attached to a bungee cord. So your big pulley hits that block. That stretches out and slows you down. And then we also have guides at the end who are going to catch you and make sure you don't swing shot back out to me. And it's never fun if I see you coming back towards me. That just means there's a lot of work to do after that. Um, this is one of my favorites, though. You're going to be going pretty fast. Uh, this is, I believe, one of our fastest ones, if not our fastest one. Um, so you might get some, some tears flowing past your face. Uh, but it's, it's super fun. It's just less fun. It's super fun. Absolutely. Super fun is a super zip. <laughs> Unless you think that we don't take the gospel message seriously as we have fun around here, you can see right here before we send people to their potential demise, just kidding, as we send them off of this super zip and scare the <clears throat> out of them, we put the good news right here so everybody can hear that really ultimately what we do here at Answers in Genesis and Creation Museum is we want to share the good news of Jesus Christ. And so everything we do is in fun, but also with purpose. And so as we get prepared for this morning, we hope you enjoy the ride. And if you'd be staying tuned to our YouTube channel, Mr. Jeremy over there, as you can tell, has a little robotic head. What are you? Are you like a cyborg this morning? I'm an alien. An it's alien. Extra eye. <laughs> alien. <laughs> so he has an extra eye that will be recording all of this Super Zip in fabulous 360 degree that we'll be putting up onto the YouTube channels and also onto our, our Facebook pages that we're looking at now. So hope you enjoy the ride this morning and let's get underway. Oh, a nice cool piece um, behind us. You might be able to see there's a, there's a bunch of cars going on the highway. This is actually 275. So if you're ever going down the highway and you see just a random tower sitting in the middle <laughs> of a field, that's this tower. <laughs> uh, between exit, what is it, 11 uh, and the Kentucky line, or this is? Uh, the Petersburg exit and the Hebron exit. So yep. eight, exit 8 and 11. 11. 11. Yep, yeah. awesome. Very good. So anybody can come here and do this. You, uh, you don't even have to come to the museum, right? Even if you don't come to the museum itself, you can still come and just take a day out. And you know, It's a fun family adventure. And you've done this several times, correct, Caitlin? I've done the super zip once, and then I've done the zip line two several times, okay. and I've done the free fall two. And I know my little, one of my children, uh, Mikaela, she really enjoyed going through this. She was probably uh -huh. 10 at the time. So, I mean, it's uh, something that even the younger children can, can yeah. come and have a good time. The, the tour guides are phenomenal. Yes. They really help you through some of the, the challenges of getting up and hooked mm -hmm. in, and, and you feel safe you feel all the time. feel very safe. Absolutely. Yeah, very safe. It's a lot of fun. Have you done the uh, aerial adventure course, did you say? I have. Not. Actually, we have a funny story of that. So, uh, in my family, my, my brother-in-law and my father-in-law were all very uh, competitive. Okay. And so we're sitting around Thanksgiving the one day, and I, I, I used to be a little bit more overweight than I am now, slightly overweight computer programmer. And my father-in-law and brother-in-law were giving me uh, sort of the blues. They're like, oh, we'll take you up there and we'll beat the, beat the heck out of you. We'll, we'll, there's no way you can do that. You're too out of shape. I'm like, dude, I used to climb for a living. And so we got up there, and I'm up there. I'm swinging around upside down and hanging uh -huh. off things, and they're all sucking wind, and they couldn't do it. So, yes, I've been on there, and nice. I would love to, I'd love to go do it again. Maybe we could talk them into yeah, this up there. Yeah, last year. Whoa, here we go, here we go. Oh, check it out. Oh, oh, this is what's called the lean of faith. Actually, may I, uh, may I, let me come over there real quick. Right. Jeremy, let me adjust <laughs> oh yeah, he's gonna he's gonna be in this position whether he wants to be or not. Okay. <laughs> I mean his head, your head, is your head comfortable? Um, Alright, good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Jeremy, if you could bend your knees up towards yourself, okay, all the way. James, the question is, did you bring your cape? My cape? You know what? I did not bring the cape this morning, unfortunately, with all the children in my house, capes are hard to come by because they all believe that they are superheroes. And unfortunately, most of them are very small and they do more like napkins. You do not break. So what you're going to do is... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here's how, here's how it's going to work. You're going to want to put your hands either straight up in front of you like Superman. Right? 
right? Oh, yes, you have uh, to You that. can put them on your sides, or you can hang on to your chest. You don't want them straight out like a bird, because that's going to slow you down too much if you don't want to go too slow. Right? No, you want to go super fast. Right. On the right. super zip. So I'm going to give you a push, make sure you get to the end. When you get to the end, don't panic. You're not going to need to break, right? <laughs> don't do anything. Just be you. Just enjoy. All right, Jamie, ready? Fly. All right, ready. Woo! <laughs> it's a bird. It's a plane. <laughs> That was awesome. <laughs> all right, so we want to make sure that we get you head head correct as well. And it should be all right if you can keep your head up too. I'll take a peek here as we see. All right, guys, so Creation Museum is going to get to go first. And then afterwards, if, if you really want to do something cool right now, you can bring up both the Creation Museum and Ark Encounter Facebook pages in different windows of your, your browser, and you can watch both of them at the mm -hmm. same time. Yeah. Twice the fun. I did that last week Twice when you guys super. were down at the, at the Ark Encounter having fun with that one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so... Go ahead, Kelly, let's get you one up there, and we will take that. And you're gonna do the lean of face. You're gonna put all your weight on your shoulders. So take a step back up. first. Okay. And then you can lean forward. There you go. Step, step, step back up. Step off the box. Oh. Oh, there goodness. Go. All right. <laughs> oh. You're still tethered on. You're not going to go low. How you got so bad? We got you. All right. Little extra stiff.
your elbow set. You can step down. Clear aperture. Clear aperture. All right, now we're waiting for the next super zip person to come down, like Superman style. So you'll you'll see them coming in on this line. How about we step over here on the right side, and you'll be seeing them come in Superman style down here. They're just getting ready now. They're getting prepared. Now, do you have the Ark Encounter or Creation Museum? Museum. Alright, Creation Museum. We're also streaming this on the Ark Encounter Facebook page on a different, different camera. Alright, if you guys have any questions, let me know and I can answer them here today. Can you look down there more and look look up Alright, here they come. That was amazing. I tell you what, if you have not got a chance to come and do this yet here at the museum, it is definitely worth just coming to the museum for that. That was great. And the stop is really, I mean, because you think you're not going to stop. You go flying <laughs> in there and, 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 you, and you come into that last spot and I'm like, what's going to happen? I'm not going to stop. And then bam. I feel like that must be how like the jet fighters feel when they're landing on the aircraft carriers. Similar technology, would it not be? Just say yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't really know if that's the technology, so if you are in the Air Force and you fly jet fighters and you do that, you can tell me I'm wrong. Right, Come down. I assume they use a little more than a bungee. Yeah, it might be. So, like, hopefully you guys enjoyed coming down through there and getting the point of view. That, I got I tell you. <laughs> However, doing it through the, the camera like that, I just, it can't do it justice. There's no way. Because when you get that wind rushing in your face, and uh, you're able to look down around. I'm telling you, I really felt like Superman there for a little bit. I'm mm -hmm. like, this was what, what, what it must be to feel like when you're flying. Yeah. So they want to know how old was the oldest zip liner uh, there so far? Oh, that's a good question. Good so do guess. you guys know who like the, like what is the oldest age of a person who came through here? Ninety-two. Ninety-two. So awesome. there's no excuse really. <laughs> really, if, if a ninety-two-year-old can come and do this, I guess unless you're ninety-three, then you can be like, wow, I'm older than him. But in general, it, it pretty much is safe for anybody, correct? I mean, as long as the heart can take it. Because <laughs> it is quite the rush. Mm -hmm. It is quite the rush. Here, we got somebody out. We are waiting for the next person. I don't know if you can see this, but this is on the Ark Encounter Facebook page. You can see that they are getting ready as we speak to come. This is the platform on the other end of the... On the other you end know what? of the Why don't you line. come and like kind of get... Like, we get a little bit like the, the reality of coming in at the other one. So let's... Kind of get you right there, and we'll we'll have camera coming after camera. <laughs> yeah. So if you're at the Ark Encounter and Creation Museum Facebook pages simultaneously, you'll get to see like a nice little vertigo tree here. <laughs> <laughs> I believe Kate uh, Kathleen is coming next, right? Is she? Yep. So it looks like. Look a little bit to your right. We have the cameras mounted on the helmets, so. If the, if the camera angle is a little wonky, that's why. Yeah. I can't see anything. <laughs> you can't see uh, what's the youngest someone can go? Eight. Eight. And eight. eight years old. Older, right? Eight. Eighty pounds. Eight years old, eighty pounds is the young uh, limitation for the younger. 
Oh wow, you can hear that. No wonder it's called screaming. Look a little bit to your right. Why is it called screaming yeah. rather than zip lines? It sounds like somebody's shrieking on the way in. Is she coming out? Oh wow. <laughs> All right. Here she comes. Superman style. <laughs> Looking good. Keep going. Woo! <laughs> oh, I came in much harder than that. <laughs> <laughs> so, there was a question: Can you zip all year long? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Any days the museum is open, correct? Yeah. Now, are you going to close down for like January through March or anything like that? Uh, we have so far, but with the ARC, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, Every so year they're like, we probably won't. And then they do. Well, and if you don't know Facebook, if you don't, if you don't know, uh, every year here we have the Christmas Town, where we have all the lights, all the trees here are decorated with uh, amazing display of Christmas lights. And so coming here, you can zip line at night while Christmas Town is going on through all the Christmas lights, which is I haven't done it, but I hear it's fantastic. Have you, have you been through for the Christmas Town lights? I haven't done the zip lines yet. We will be doing zip line at Christmas Town, give you a peek of what it looks like. So, but we encourage you to come yourselves. As we said, there's just there's nothing that compares to actually sure. doing it. So how, how was it, Ark Encounter? Did you have a, have a good time coming down? <laughs> yes. So there's another question. If they are too young, can they go tandem? We're not set up with tandem harnesses here. Um, I'm sure there is equipment out there to do this lining that way, but no. So the answer, if you couldn't hear, is that no. Uh, technically, at, at this facility, we don't have tandem harnesses, so no, they could not. All right, let's see them come in. look up a little bit because <laughs> yours was pointed down just a bit. <laughs> Alright, here they come, Superman style. Dude, why did he get quiet? Oh, yeah. <laughs> On duty, sorry. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that's like hard work. <laughs> Good job, Sarah. How was it? It was awesome. <laughs> Your face is all like flustered and yeah, glossy. Of the, of the oh, stuff. the wind is amazing. Yes. And how fast did you say we get coming down from this one? How fast? Uh. We measured them a long time ago. I want to say this is about 40 miles an hour. About 40 miles an hour? I mean. I just guess. Clearly, people don't normally go that fast outside of automobiles, so it is. <laughs> yeah, you do get some tears. Yes, you the, do. The, I, I was crying when I came. Oh, it could have been <laughs> a tear, but you know, I'm going to say it was the wind. Yeah. Yes. So, in regards to how much this costs, if you're interested on the pricing, for the Creation Museum, you can go to creationmuseum.org, and um, they have the zip lines. You can search, or you can uh, just look and click on zip lines or on arcencounter.com you can also go to zip lines there and check out pricing for the R. and in that there, there's there's opportunity you can come and just do a few of the zip lines you can do all the zip lines so they do have some different packages they have different packages for the crazy museum at the arc encounter you only have level one right now sure. and um, you can you? they're get, gonna open level two shortly whether it be this year or early next year Alright, here comes the last person. I don't believe this is Superman style. <laughs> to answer your question, it's loud because it's vibrating through the steam. Once it gets low enough to pull the cable under it, it's something that's There you go, that makes sense. Uh -huh. Did you guys come in that fast? Oh, I come in way faster. <laughs> I, was like, I thought I was going to hit those trees up there. Oh, well. Poor James. I can't barrel into them. Oh, well. When I did it last week, it was probably something to do with the wind. I still went fast, no. but I, I, it caught me. Oh, wow. She's like... This time it felt like it. That was pro right there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, wow. You've done this before, it seems like. Oh, okay. How was it? It was awesome. Oh, yes. Awesome. Yes. So what's the weight limit? Is there a weight limit? There, for all of our zip lines, the minimum is 80 pounds, and you have to be 8 years old. Uh, the maximum is, I believe, 285 for men, 255, 50, 55 for women, 250. Um, for the super zip itself, 
Uh, we have one size of Super Zip harness, Ouch. so it's a little bit harder to fit you in if you're really, really small. Like if you're, you know, about eight years old, you're just right there at the minimum. Um, we're maybe someday, don't quote me on this, we might get smaller ones. We might not, um, but we try our best to get you guys at least down the line. So as you can see, you can ride it down normal just like I did. It's still just as fun, still just as fast, all that stuff. <laughs> You guys ready to do some more? Yes, absolutely. All right, awesome. yeah, so that was the last of the super zip, super zip stuff. Um, we're gonna keep you guys in the same get up, but we're just gonna ride down normal. Although we do need those pulleys. Do you need these pulleys? Yeah, those pulleys. We don't need this stuff. So James, you wanna help me take no. off this stuff? Oh, yeah. Not you. Sorry, <laughs> other James. It's very confusing because we have two Jameses. Yeah, <laughs> James too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're just gonna keep them in the super harnesses. So what did you think? Did you feel super? Oh, I felt super. That's what I said. Yeah. I come down, it was like, yeah. I, I really felt like I was flying. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I love that stream when you look down oh, it the is. water. It, it, and I mean, it's just, well, it's even really this, cool. whole, this whole area here, as we were looking at some I've seen zip lines where they just kind of, it's almost like a ropes course. Uh -huh. so through the trees and this, this just gives you such a, a wonderful opportunity to come and see the creation that God has provided yes. and, and be able to spend the day out here. Uh -huh. I mean, these guys, I, I envy them. They would get to just be out here all the time. I yeah. guess maybe not in the winter because I'm not a winter guy. <laughs> On days like this where it's just pretty and beautiful and the, the change of the, the season is coming, it's just, it's a great time to just spend out, outside. I felt like I could see it in 360 degrees. Literally. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you will be able to as well. This wasn't just for your own purposes, Jeremy. This wasn't so you could see it in 360. This is for other people. Oh. Yeah. So does that mean you're going to be wearing that all the time? It's just going to be like a third eye everywhere it, it, you go. It kind of makes people ask questions. It makes you give give you just looks and stuff. So. <laughs> His wife is really starting to get tired of it being just throughout the house. He wears yeah. it all the time. But it does protect your it does protect your head, so Yeah, yeah that's true. That's true. You have ultimate protection all the time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, we're trying to fill in some corny dead air noise. But, yeah. We're so slow and so soft. Yes, these people. I think, no. yeah. They've done a phenomenal job mm -hmm. so far. This has yeah. been, Our tour guides are awesome. Tour guides are very awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, except for Maria. I was talking about Sarah and Jake. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, that makes more sense. <laughs> all right. We all got our gloves still. We all got our helmets. Check. All right. Check. Awesome. We are good to go, James. All right. So what is next? We're going to be heading up this hill. Um, we're going to do... Come with uh, us, Facebook. We're going to be doing um, the... Essentially, the level two tour one. Yeah. Right. There you go. Um, so, that. typically when you come here, um, <clears throat> if you're doing, say, level two, what we're going to be doing right now, uh, you would do our first five zip lines. Which we bypassed since we did the super zip. Um, we do our first five, which is And that's the big the, the big tower that we came down. We did that maybe a couple weeks ago. Yep. Um, so you'd start with that one, do the next four, and then if you finish level one there, we would say goodbye to you, send you on your way, and then we continue with level two. So when you say level one, is that is that a height thing or is that just Nope, it's just the number of uh, one we use, okay. Yep. So level one has five zip lines. Uh, level two you get an additional four. We're gonna be heading right to the tower. Okay. Um, so level two, you get a total of nine zip lines, which is the first five you would do on level one, plus an additional four. Uh, level three, you get a total of 17 zip lines, which is all the ones you've done before. And then um, an additional, I believe, eight. And then level four, which is the super zip and the one right before the super zip. Um, you get a total of nine. So if you're just joining us Facebook, we're here at the Creation Museum which as you can hear from behind us is right on the highway 275 in uh, Kentucky, Northern Kentucky. We're right off exit 11 and you can come here um, to the museum facilities and do these amazing zip lines. And as uh, we were saying before, you can go to creationmuseum.org or to arkencounter.com, which if you're joining us from the Ark Encounter, we also have zip lines down there at the Ark Encounter and you can go there and do pretty much, well not the same thing, they're, they're quite different, but <laughs> the, the concept is the same, it's zip lining. So we have a question, what distance does it cover? Uh, maybe, how, how long is the super zip, for example? The super zip is 1,800 feet long, so it's about uh, three football fields long um, that you're in the air for. Um, the amount of cable we have, I believe, is about, I want to say 12 miles of cable oh, stretched wow. out between everything we have here, so our And that's at the Creation course. Museum. Yeah, that's here at the Creation Museum. Museum. Um, so between our aerial challenge course, all the zip lines we have back here. Um, I mean, it really is a full day. I mean, you can come here oh, and spend yeah. the whole day out here. Yeah. Well, we have um, we have what's called a five-hour rush. Five hour so that's that's our uh, level five. Um, that one you have to get a day in advance, but that's literally five hours wow. of doing the zip lines, doing the aerial challenge, anything that we have here to offer. You wow. get five-hour time limit to do that. 
Um, and that one's different than any of our other ones because the other ones have a set number of zip lines. Sure. The five hour rush you can do. The you can zip do the lines a million times. Oh, yeah. Okay, nice. Oh, that's that's nice. To that's know. cool. Yeah. And that's on the website, uh, creationmuseum.org. You can you can check that out uh, for those different packages that you offer. And you said that one's a day in advance, though. Yeah, the five-hour rush is the only one you have to do in a day in advance. The rest of them you can do. You can walk up, say, "Hey, I want to go at this. I want to do this level. What times do you have available?" And uh, we can get you set up. Awesome. So what are we going to do right now? We're we're gonna head up this tower right here. Um, this one is nicknamed the Screaming Eagle. Uh, that's do they all because have names? they they do all have names. Um, I think it was it was a recent thing. I think it was last year. They all got names instead of just numbers. Is that so? Y'all know where you're at in the, yeah. the zip lines? Not yeah, so kind of kind of that that idea. Um, but this one's nicknamed the Screaming Eagle. Uh, this one's going to be going nice and fast. Now, you guys did one um, called the Archaeopteryx a little bit ago that is faster than this one. But this one is usually the fastest one that you'll do if you come to the, the museum here. Um, so with that, again, I'll just go over braking again. Um, so this one's not a ground landing. This is not a ground landing. Okay. Yep. We're going to be landing on another platform kind of like this one. So this is the fastest platform to platform? Uh, yes. Yeah, that, that, that's very interesting. Um, so what you're going to do uh, on this one, is you're just going to be breaking. Um, you typically break a little bit sooner than you would say on the first couple zip lines. Uh, so what you're going to see from me, um, I'm going to show a break signal that's a little bit different. So what you're going to see is one hand shoot up first. All that means is just put your hand on the zip line um, and you're going to press down just like you normally would for a regular breaking. If you see two hands go up, you just push down a little bit harder. That just means a little bit more breaking. Okay. Right? okay. Um, that's the only thing that's different about this one. Uh, it's nice and fast. And of course, Screaming Eagle, so scream if you want to. <laughs> we can scream? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and for you that are joining us social today, for the point of view, we will be getting this same footage here, 360, up onto our YouTube channels. Some point, probably in the next week or two, I think. Mm -hmm. All right, let's All right. come you on with us. Do you have a duck under it, or you can stop at um, you, Yeah, you can come right over here. You can come stop over. Yep. questions if you have anything you like to ask of the zipline people or just from the experience from Caitlin and I or any of us just ask away I'm gonna walk backwards so you don't have to follow me up <laughs> Called a crab claw. So, just for for the sake of people watching, um, we have a safety system that's called a safety hook. So it's a little bit different than the ones that you see that these guys are using. Um, the safety hook allows you to slide onto these wires, and there's no way you can get off once you guys are on. So the safety here is really, really important for us. So this is for the pros. the authorized personnel. <laughs> All the professionals. Professionals. This is actually really, you're just joining us for our job interview. We're, we're trying to get all hired here, so. <laughs> we're tired of working in the office. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shit up. I don't remember. We came into the whole tour early on whenever yeah. they first put them in, so I don't know what is new and what isn't. Yeah. We definitely didn't do the super zip, it wasn't there yet. Yeah. I don't know that I've done this one. Alright, so apparently this is the fastest that she said down there. Hopefully I won't die. Hopefully I'll see you guys all on the other side <laughs> in a few minutes. Ready? ready? Alright, see you later. <laughs>
Yeah, good. good? We're good. All right, awesome. Tuck your head. Tuck your head. You got it? There you go. Perfect. Very nice. And you hooked on? All right. All right. Yep. And then if you want to, James, yeah, you can just hook yourself right up here. Yep. That way we can, we can start just at least yeah, move, move <laughs> moving the, the bodies around. Yep. Clear your eagle. Clear your eagle. Clear the eagle. <laughs> Who is coming next in the line? That really is fast. Mm -hmm. The platform landing is a little, it's a little bit different than landing on the, on the ground. Thank God, Dalen. Oh, <laughs> bonk my nose. <laughs> So Kelly came in pretty hot whenever she came yep. in. Yep. <laughs> Do I? She came in pretty hot. She oh, did you? Yeah. yeah. You can put them here. It can be difficult to judge. I mean, we're watching you, obviously, but right. like at what point to really apply the pressure? Mm -hmm. Clear, you go, clear, you go. Get stuck, baby. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> shit <laughs> hard. Either way, we come and catch you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here's some of the sky bridges. Yeah, yeah, Whoa, you okay? No, we're good. <laughs> Right, Arkansas County, you got a real tour there. <laughs> <laughs> Cameras make you go faster. Cameras make yeah. you go faster. That, I think that's that there's. Some... I hit my nose. So... <laughs> Are you okay? All right. You got a little, little toasty. You've loved it a little toasty. And I'm having to spin around this way so you don't have to tangle up. Awesome. There you go. Clear, eagle, clear, eagle. If you want to join me. <laughs> oh, that's like it. Oh, uh, no! That's right, we're prepared. <laughs> <laughs> this is not happening. So we just had a man down. The there's, there's another one down there. It's worth it. Oh, yeah, it's a common occurrence. That's awesome. So here comes our 360 footage coming in a little bit crazy. Keep breaking, keep breaking it. There you go. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> There's like, what do I do? Here you go, come on down. It doesn't help when I don't have my prescription glasses. No, they're probably oh, that's not the yeah. best. All right. So that's why you have the green bag. Yeah. Uh -huh. That makes sense. We lost the glove over here. Which one did you lose? Uh, that was uh, uh, left or right, Caitlin. Uh, uh, actually, I don't know. Yeah, I'll grab sure. the one you have here. Alright. <laughs> Hello. I don't think I'm allowed to do the hand signal yet. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Sarah you're probably would have died if she oh, was Oh, thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know. I was trying to adjust. I didn't know which one it was. So are we going Thank up the bridge? You. We are going up these bridges, yep. So now this is a little bit different than the zip lines. So are these, so, so what's the purpose of the bridges? Just to add a little extra excitement to it. Okay. So levels two, uh, two and three, and technically four. Um, any level you do above level one, you'll get some of these bridges. Okay. So for this one, we have two bridges here. Uh, if you were to continue to level three, we would tack on an additional five bridges oh, wow. um, that are back in the woods. We'll be able to see them a little bit when we get down the next one. Um, but yeah, the next ones are a little bit higher. Come with us. Farther. Oh no, remember one rule. Gotta be attached. Oh yeah. Gotta be attached. At all times. Is this scary? <laughs> Are you scared? 
Look down. Oh my goodness. There's like. Oh, oh no, don't look down. <laughs> I can't see if I look down. Yeah, I'm okay with dropping gloves, but not to the phones. <laughs> My super harness is coming unharnessed. <laughs> Keep going, Marie. Up, up yep. there. Go ahead. All right. Your bread going backwards. Oh. <laughs> Hi, All the things we do for our viewers. <laughs> right. <laughs> Are you allowed to like bounce? Is that a little bit? A little bit? <laughs> a little bit of fun, it's okay. <laughs> Come on, Kelly. Woo! <laughs> wow, the scenery out here is amazing. It's just what kind of trees are these? Not just kept it. What was that? Okay. Uh, that, that one talks a little bit about some of the trees we have here. Uh, there's some trees. Uh, I think a lot of them are just oak, some maple trees. Well, what's your face with the yep. camera? <laughs> I got you. Coming over. You want to stuck your head? There we go. All right. Wow, this is like. I keep losing my super zip harness, it's not... <laughs> so is that challenging? Are you all challenged? Yay! Yeah. Good job. Oh. Okay. We're gonna go back to regular brake signals now, so if you see two hands up, don't freak out. Just means... Can you slow down. Tighten. Yeah, go ahead. Thank you. And we got all gloved back up, Caitlin? Yep, all gloved <laughs> up. So apparently there's a purpose for them to carry those little backpacks around. Yeah. It's for the people like us that yeah. don't know what we're doing. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I call this the backpack of everything we hope to never need. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's got like extra gloves, it's got a first aid kit, emergency wow. water, um, and it has a belay system. In case for some reason you decide to pass out up here, we can get you to the ground without having oh. to throw you off the platform or anything oh. like that. <laughs> Have you had anybody pass out up here? Not yet. Okay, good. Not yet. So that officially has not ever been needed. But if I do, you're prepared. Yes. So. Yes. <laughs> Jeremy, how you feeling? You gonna you gonna go down? You gonna pass out? Oh, I'm feeling okay. Thank okay, you. Okay, good. <laughs> we will not need the blade system. Any special things I should know about this one? What's this one called? Um, this one's called Woodpecker. We're on the wood. We're on the Woodpecker, people. We are currently going to ride the Woodpecker, and uh, this one's not as fast as the last one we were on, right? Correct. Yeah. It's and it's also smaller. Smaller. Yep. Faster. The ones we're going to be yeah. doing from here on out are going to be smaller. Okay. Clear the Woodpecker. So left hand on top, yep. right hand on the rope. Got it. Perfect. Here's See you guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, can you get that under? Perfect. Oh, yeah, questions are good. Jerry. See, Woodpecker. Clear the Woodpecker.
<laughs> I don't mind my hands getting warm so much when it's cold out. Yeah. <laughs> kind of nice. So yeah, Robin, yeah, there, there are some weight limits, Robin. There's uh, 80 pounds and is 80 pounds at eight years old? Yep, Three? that's the minimum. Eight minimum and the minimum. maximum yep. is 250 for women and 285 for men? Yep. And that's based upon the size of the harness, correct? Uh, not necessarily. No? No, it's more just for safety. Okay. Um, for their safety, for our safety. Good job. Good job, Kathleen. <laughs> All right. We're going to be old pros by the time we get through Absolutely. Christmas sound. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so are you looking for anybody to come work? <laughs> um, so if somebody did want to come and say work here, they, they would just go to the creationmuseum.org, look at the zip lines. Do you have job opportunities there? I believe so, yeah. I okay. think I or think just creationmuseum slash jobs, I think is where it's Yeah, I think, yeah. I think they are there. Um, so if you have a great love Google for the search. outdoors and want to come out here and zip around all day long. Absolutely. Um, I know that the, the Screaming Raptor zip lines has a Facebook page too, so you could definitely find okay, any information about the zip lines there too. And we'll link to that, I'm sure, in the comments of these videos. Uh, the total number of zip lines, Joy, um, that's a good question. I, I know they said 12 miles, but how many total zip lines are there? Between the ones that are out here um, and the ones on our aerial challenge, we have about 24. 24 zip yeah. lines. So if you were to do just a straight zip line tour, um, say you were to do level four, you would do 19 total zip lines. Nice. Hey, we'll you're coming down. I guess I should play. <laughs> yep, <so we> can <laughs> Start to get to get in, people. Sorry, I'm holding up the procession. So we're going to head. Which way? Left or right? So, oh, can you see the uh, the <laughs> sign up here? You can lean back. It's okay. Your, your turn. The sign up here might be a little bit tough, but uh, it's funny that the, the the length of the line in cubits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For those that know not what a cubit is, uh, you learn that if you come to the Ark Encounter Com. A cubit is from the tip of your elbow to the tip of your finger in the middle. Mm -hmm. uh, there's two types: uh, the 18 inch cubit, which is the um, non-royal cubit, and then the royal is about 21. But it does vary because it's based upon the span of a man's arm. Mm -hmm. I think the one they used here is about 21 or 21 so. 21 they yeah. used the royal. Um, and these are the bridges I mentioned earlier. Um, so these ones, some of these you would do if you were to come back and do level three. You can see they're definitely a lot higher. Um, so they're a little, a little bit more fun. Well, so this is like the first one we can actually see the platform on the other side, really. <laughs> right. <laughs> Most of them are just flying blind, but this one's pretty, pretty straightforward. Would you like to go first or would you like me to go? It probably would be better if you did because you are... We are cross-threaded. <laughs> we have crossed the streams. Facebook. 
So again, we have the signs up here. This is the barn owl, uh, length of 135 cubits. It's pretty cool. Let's see if there's any other questions. What better place to die than the Creation Museum? <laughs> <laughs> so, fantastic comment there. I don't know if we would agree, but yeah. <laughs> probably wouldn't be good for us. But I do understand the sentiment. <laughs> You want to come under, or you, oh, we take a seat. Yeah, we'll figure it. Um, are we crossed again? It's a really good one. Now we are. <laughs> All right. You know what? <laughs> Where are you at? This one is a prowl. What a prowl? Prowling owl. Barn owl. <laughs> it's a, it's a barn owl. I read this sign. <laughs> We're all friends, buddy. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> all right, so this is the last one you would be on if you did level. Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, this is the last one that would be on level two. Um, it's going to be a ground landing. Now, when you say so, levels, when you're saying that again, the level one mm -hmm. is a certain number of zip lines, level two is another certain number. They're, yeah. they're sort of like uh, packages? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you can do like say level one, level two, level three, or level one, level three, that type of thing? Yeah, if you did, um, essentially the higher level you go, the more zip lines you add on. So if you did level one, you would do five zip lines, Okay. the first five. If you did level two, you would do those first five zip lines and then continue on to the next four. Awesome. Um, and then the higher level you go up, the more zip lines you just tack on to the end. Sure. All right, so this is the last one for level two. Yep. Like I said, it's a ground landing, so when you get to the bottom, you'll see me doing this number, All right? <laughs> that just means move your feet. So you end up on the ground, on your feet, and not on your rear end, right? Yes, that sounds good. Your name is Kelly's short cup. Going first, Kelly. Suppose so. <laughs> Sorry for the dead air, Facebook. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll be more loud. Okay, you can go. I know. Your run and your eyes water. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Good job. <laughs> so graceful. Uh, I allegedly there are no trees you can run into, but yeah. I <laughs> it, was, it was funny earlier when we went over the one zip line below us. It's like way below. Yes. But for some reason I wanted to pull my legs oh. up. Right, so. yes. <laughs> I was the same way. Yeah. It's funny. So do we have any additional questions from the social community? No. Yay, like... Kathleen! So much more graceful than 
James. <laughs> no, it was. Yeah. No offense, James. No offense. I, yes. I'm not quite as light on my feet. I don't claim grace after I drop my gloves. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So it asked about this before. Apparently, if you come in, you can see this equipment here and then the equipment over here. If you're coming through, they'll take your picture based upon this little motion sensor and then you can get pictures of yourself coming down this zip line. Which zip line is this, Marie? This is the last one for level one. Last yeah. one level one. Yeah, so you would do um, uh, how the pictures here work. There's a picture we take of you when we gear you all up. Um, and uh, then there's gonna be a picture that's taken of you when you come over the first zip line over the water. And there's a picture taken of you on the very last one here on level uh, one. That's really cool. Yeah, so you get the, the one over the water gets more of a side profile. This one comes right at you, gets in front of you. Um, you can pose if you want to. Um, nothing crazy, but yeah. <laughs> pose, make it make it your own, make it cool, anything like that. Right. Well, I really appreciate you taking time today to take us through. Mm -hmm. This has been fantastic. Yeah, it was really. a lot of fun. I know that it's you know, taking out of your schedule, but hopefully it gives our, our people at, at the, the Facebook page an opportunity to see what it would be like before they get to the pond. Oh, yeah. So, so how many total zip lines are there? Uh, there's a total, including our aerial challenge, there's a total of 24-ish, uh, give or take one or two. On the actual zip line tours, um, you could do a total of 19 if you went all the way up through level four. And you said there was, what, like 12 miles? Just about 12 miles. 12 miles. Again, miles. give or take. Um, it's not exact, but there's about 12 miles of zip line stretching throughout all the woods here, um, our aerial challenge. And so the Creation Museum is located in northern Kentucky. Um, known as Petersburg, Kentucky, mm -hmm. and then the Ark Encounter is also in northern Kentucky, just a little south of the museum, and that's located in Williamstown, Kentucky. It's about 40 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. 40 minutes. So you could come to the Creation Museum, see the museum, do the zips here one day, and then another day go down to the Ark Encounter. We do have combo tickets for both places, is that correct, mm -hmm. Jeremy? Yeah, we do have combo tickets. Uh, that's for the admission to the Ark and Museum. Zip lines are extra. They are. Now, when it comes to zip lining at night, Normally they don't offer that. However, at Christmas Town at the Creation Museum, yes. they do offer a zip lining at night over the over all the lights in the botanical gardens. It's uh, I think they're going to be doing three zips for twenty nine dollars, yes, and that's at that's at Christmas Town. Plus, you have hot chocolate, so whenever you get oh. down freezing oh, yeah. off of those zip lines, you can get nice and warm. And toasty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How should people dress? Like, would you that's recommend question, for question. like the colder weather? Because I mean, obviously, you don't want to wear a really big bulk coat. <laughs> right. Just layers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would recommend layers. Um, if your hands typically get all really cold, like my sisters do, they get cold all the time. Um, I would recommend bringing like a thin pair of gloves to wear under our gloves, um, and then just layers. Um, so you can always take something off uh, if you need to. If you get a little warm when you go up the stairs. Um, that's a good question. If people go through, do you have places where they can set stuff down and then you guys could collect for them, or is that something you typically don't do? Uh, typically, typically we don't do that. Um, I mean, if it's you know you're sweating profusely, <laughs> you know maybe we can take your jacket off, maybe stick it in our bag if we have sure. if we have space or anything like that. Um, but on hot days, you know, typically people will wear shorts, t-shirts, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, and we have water stations out here, so on a hot oh, day, we you don't have to carry your own water. Yeah, you don't have to carry oh, water good. or anything like that. Um, we, we provide you with water and make sure you don't, you know, dehydrate, fall over, and anything like that. So have you done the uh, the Christmas Town during the lights? Have you yourself? Have you led tours during that? Is that amazing or what? It's cold, <laughs> but yeah, it's <laughs> it's beautiful. Um, there's tons of lights everywhere, uh, so it feels like a winter wonderland, um, even if there's not. Snow. But do they have any lights out here in this area? Just nope. they're all out. out yeah, but so, you can get a good view of them. All. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Because you do the one over the lake, which you'll see tons and tons of lights. Because um, most of the lights are back in the gardens um, and around where the lake is. And then we do the next two after that, um, which stop right before you get back here in the trees. Uh, and that's just because at night, with things with trees and everything like that, it's really unpredictable. You can't tell if there's branches, creatures, things like that. Um, and it would just be really hard to light it back here. What kind of creatures? <laughs> oh, so that, that's for <laughs> that's for another day. <laughs> so, um, if you want information about just various aspects of the zip lining, you know, weight limits, pricing, and uh, age level, go ahead and go to creationmuseum.org or arkencounter.com, and you can just search for zip lines, and it'll take you to the right page. Mm -hmm. And um, if you just if you have any questions or whatnot, feel free to comment on the pages, mm -hmm. and we'll we'll also answer them there too. Uh, later on throughout the day. So. Take an opportunity to share and like and pass it on to your friends that you know would love to come here to the museum and 
they'll have a reason to now they do. And if you're wondering what this contraption is on my head, it is a 360 degree camera. So be watching on Facebook and be watching on YouTube. We're going to post the 360 degree video footage of the zip lining. So wait, that thing grow out of that? I thought you said it grew up out of you. No, th no, this isn't anything that's a, you know, physically attached to me. It's, it's, it's not like a third eye. It, no, it's not a third eye. <laughs> So we'll have those videos up on the YouTube channels for both Creation Museum and Art Encounter? Yeah, Creation Museum and Art Encounter YouTube channels as well as Facebook, so be watching for those. You'll be able to kind of look as we're looking. It won't be the same thing though, so you're going to have to come and do them yourself. Yes. I'm, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> we can't do everything virtually. Yeah, we can't do everything virtually. Not yet. <laughs> well, thank you, Marie. Thank you, Sarah. appreciate the time yeah. today. And thank you, Facebook, for joining us. I hope you had a great time. Appreciate it.